equities, fixed income, currencies, commodities, and of course derivatives. This is Markets Today. Welcome. I'm your host, George Bodo. Co-hosting, as usual, this will be there. We have a lot of things we're tracking today. Um, the um, top of the list is uh, the Nairobi Securities, Securities Exchange is soft launching the derivatives market. They're actually calling the platform NEXT next. Uh, the soft launch today, we expect a full launch next week. But uh, just following on the press release that released yesterday, um, the, the, the exchange is essentially offering um, a single stock features and index features. Um, the, singles, the index features is primarily based on the NAC 25 share index. Mm -hmm. And the single stock features is, a, it, it's, it's comprised a, bas a basket of seven stocks, which we'll be discussing briefly with um, my co-host be there. Uh, we are also tracking um, the FX market. We saw a slight correction. Kenya Shilling claw back some of the losses to close the day at uh, 102.6. We remember the previous day, the Tuesday day we had, was, actually it was runaway. It was 103, just threatening to go beyond, just beyond 103 and a half. But we saw yesterday so the, the, the local currency claw back some of the losses to close at 102.6. We are also talking about the property market Real, real estate investment trust, the D rates, the I rates, and with us here is is, uh, is Mwangi from um, uh, from British Mwangi from uh, Cyton Investments. Of course, Cyton is primarily an, an, a property company. We'll also touch a bit on the property uh, market as a whole, but you, you, but you can look out for more discussion on the property market. But to this, before we go to the property market, let's talk about some of the latest things we are tracking for you. Um, and top of the list is the fact that the Central Bank of Kenya is auctioning a 15-year bond this month, seeking to raise 40 billion shillings. And the last auctions be the strong performance from previous auctions in excess of 100%. And primarily because liquidity has been very high in the system. Do you expect another strong performance this month? There's a lot of liquidity. The analysts yeah. who are looking at this paper are coming out with a range of about 12.45 to 12.65 yeah. in terms of what they think the investors will be demanding as a return from this paper. Yeah. Last month, there were, uh, two papers were reopened. One yeah. was at 11.66, similar tenor, and another one came in at about 12.5. So I think the guess is they could uh, want 12.45. It's a, the gap, the market is awash with liquidity. Yeah. The government so can get away with closer to 12 rather than closer to 13 percent. So it's just uh, just around 12, 12 and a half range. That's why the markets. Over, over but the I think it's going to weeks. price yeah. at. I think yeah. I don't think it's going to go to beyond 12.1 percent. Yeah. 12.5 yes. is a bit of a stretch. 12.1 I mean, because of liquidity. Some large. of the brokers were projecting 12.6. Yes. Yeah. So it's 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 essentially what what is showing that. The yield curve is actually softening. It's, yes, it's it been is. It gradually is. softening it is. It, it over exactly the last is. couple of weeks. Yeah, it's it's a tough call for banks who are used to buying treasury bonds as a, as, a, as an investment strategy. Exactly. You think they'll be forced to do something else out of this? I don't know. Let's say if the yields go to twelve point zero, just threatening to go below twelve. There's so much. You think it makes sense to keep buying George, them for banks? Interbank is at one point eight six percent. Yeah. There's a lot of liquidity. Yeah. It's a buyer's market, and we only have one buyer, the government. Do you think some of this liquidity is what is destabilizing the FX market? Do you think central banks need to withdraw some of the liquidity? They can, and yeah. they have the ability to. Yeah. It's a trader's market. Yeah. They're okay. able to trade their currency yeah. on the FX market, and it's a buyer's market if they're looking for debt to just um, soap up the liquidity from the market. Yeah. So CBK rules the game at this time round. Uh, so today officially the NSC is soft launching the derivatives market. It's very exciting, George. Yeah. Are you been, excited? We've been in this market for a long time. We've had this some, conversation yeah. of derivatives, 2016, 2017, 2019. So I'm very excited that finally we have a soft launch that's happening. Yeah. And it's also more exciting that we have the index and uh, the single stock futures. Yeah. I like that they have taken seven stocks. So there's Safaricom, your usual. Yeah, Safaricom there's, uh, the there's banks, actually the Safaricom, the unusual KCB, names, the usual names, yeah. Equity, But the unusual Kemgen. names, George, there are two unusual names there. Yeah. Are other three? There's BAT, Kenjan, and Bamburi. Yeah. This was, we hardly see any volumes going through on that. So potentially, this could, uh, in a way, help spur volume in that market. But I think, let's go back to, we had a deep dive in, of this conversation yeah. earlier in the week, uh, in the week with actually. Clara Kavuki yeah. from All Mutual Securities. And the conclusion from that conversation was, yes, it's exciting to have a new product. The local market is not ready for it. So there could be a new product and no uptake. 
And this is also a discussion that we're going to be having when you're talking about rates. So is it that NSC is producing um, services and products that are good on paper, but that the market is not ready for or interested in? Or does the market lack the capacity and the capability to invest in these assets? Because it's a good thing to have on, on your five-year strategy that you have delivered on derivatives. If nobody takes it... It's the trustees, be the trustees. It's not the trustees. It's the trustees. It's everybody. They don't like complex it's products. Every, maybe they want Let's something simple. Let's buy treasury bills, treasury bonds. No, but bond, why, don't we have, why don't we have this commodities? Conversion? Yeah. Derivatives based on commodities. That's yeah. something that everybody wants. That's so deliver that, then that's a new market yeah. that everybody wants to play in. I, I would, I'm looking forward to commodities, features on commodities, exactly. features contracts on commodities. That one makes especially so much sense. Maize, staple, rice, you and know, soya beans. <laughs> Talking about commodities, let's have a short break. Look at the, the latest update on commodity prices. We come back, we talk REITs and property market with Beatrice Mwangi from Saiton Investments. See you shortly. <laughs>